Hey guys and welcome to this lesson on conversion from a binary number to a decimal number. So the fundamental learning of this concept is that the first and probably most important step is to put down this row of values which is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. So in order to remember these values, start with the number 1, go from right to left and double that number 7 times. So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64 and 64 times 2 is 128. So this is an easy way to remember it. And the key to remember is to place the number row values under the binary numbers from right to left. So let's take a look at an example. We will take the binary number for example 10011011. So I have written it in bold over here and under that we have written the number row values as you can see from right to left. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 is exactly under the binary number. So the second step is that you put a line below the number of values and only put the number row of values under the binary number which has 1. So wherever there is 1, you will only write it again at the bottom. So as you can see, under the 0 values, there is nothing but the, under the 1 values, I have written the same value of the, from the number row value. And the next step you do is you add those number 1 values. So as you can see, I've just added a plus mark after 128, 16 and after 8, 2, 1. So you're going to add them. So once we add them, you will get your answer 155. So 155 is the decimal version of this binary conversion. So this conversion is really easy to understand. All you need to do is write the number of values under your binary number. Only write the numbers under 1, add them and you'll get the total value. And that will be your decimal number of that binary number. And now I'll see you guys in my next lesson.